hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you who don't know me my name is naninga koe welcome to this channel where we talk about beauty makeup fashion and real pertinent issues in our lives especially finances because i do have a series called the keeping it real series where i talk about finances and any other thing that actually pertains to us so welcome to my channel before you leave this video don't forget to subscribe and to give it a like make sure you give it a like guys in case you get anything now this is going to be sensitive because i know that nobody wants to be pointed out anything but i mean in terms of you don't want your character to be portrayed in negative light in case you're any of the people who do this as hobbies i was also part of doing this as some of these items as hobbies and yeah but i thought i should do this because we like talking about the good stuff but we never really talk about the bad stuff if that makes any sense like we can talk about income generating activities and that's actually the video that i did before this one so um if you haven't yet seen that video i'm going to link it up here um it's a video where i talk about hobbies that you can convert into income generating activities so that you can get more money and then so that your journey um to financial freedom can actually be shortened and so that you can reach your financial freedom early on so um Today I'm doing quite the opposite actually. I am doing um, hobbies that can actually make you poor. I know that's not really a nice topic, but these hobbies do actually, yeah, I guess there's some statistics, there's some research that actually shows that they can actually stunt your growth. Even if they wouldn't make you poor, they can actually stunt your growth. And the reason I chose to say that they are hobbies just is activities, cool. normal activities that normal people actually do or indulge in. However, I chose to label them as hobbies because hobbies is, is more of an activity that you love doing. That's a hobby, right? An activity that you love doing is a hobby. So that's why I label them as hobbies that will make you um, poor or will stunt your growth. Because um, if I just say activities, lots of people indulge in these activities, lots of them. But that doesn't mean that those people do them as hobbies, right? They might just do them as a past, uh, you know, once in a while pastime. That doesn't mean that it will stunt your growth. But immediately you start recognizing these activities as hobbies. That is a danger zone. Yeah, so the first hobby, definitely, you people might have probably guessed, is actually alcohol. Yes, there's lots of people who indulge in alcohol as a pastime, as a social activity. But those people who specifically indulge in alcohol as a hobby, like every time you, you know, as an activity that they actually love doing and frequently do it, now that is going to stunt your growth because alcohol has been shown to actually inhibit judgment and... um you know, you don't make very rational decisions when you're drinking. Yeah, so if you do alcohol frequently as a hobby, I'm not going to mention drugs and all that because th those are just detrimental. I'm talking of legal things here, you know, uh, activity, you know, things that are considered legal or hobbies that are considered legal. So alcohol is legal in almost all countries in the world. I don't think there's any country in the world that actually bans alcohol. So, um, if you do know that you do indulge in alcohol a lot, I'm so sorry if I'm stepping on your toes, but it has been shown to actually stunt growth, make irrational decisions, think of people taking loans, especially this is in the context of Africa and Kenya specifically. People take loans um, just to go on vacation and drink with their friends. Uh, yeah, and other similar weird things like, yeah, it does inhibit their judgment. There's even so many things like in Kenya, there's so many sayings about alcohol, like one of them being ukoapi. Mm -hmm. In immediately you start using such phrases. If you know you're a Kenyan and you love using such phrases, you're in the danger zone. <laughs> ukoapi. There's also um, mpango. There's also form. There's so many of these phrases. So if you know you love using those phrases, you're in the danger zone. But anyway. I'm not here to criticize anybody. I'm just here to mention the hobbies that can actually stunt your growth because alcohol inhibits judgment and therefore you would probably make irrational decisions if you're always high on it or if you're always doing it as a pastime. Not to mention that alcohol 
air is very expensive. That's a fact for us in Africa. It's very expensive. Just buying 10 crates of beer is not easy. So if you're always, and most people who drink, um, I mean, I'm not here to judge people who drink. Hey, yes, I also used to drink. Uh, in fact, I have a very big story about that. But I'm here to just say, like, if you're the kind of person who, um, what is it called? You know, nobody wants to drink alone, if you know what I mean. So you might find yourself denting your pocket to please other people so that you can have company for drinking. So it's expensive. It inhibits your judgment. And yeah. Too many nights out is not really the best decision if you're planning to grow. And not to mention the third reason that I actually say that um, alcohol inhibits growth is because of hangovers. It damages your health and excessive consumption of alcohol, as the bill has constantly told us, is harmful to your health. So uh, I don't think you'd really attend board meetings properly if you're hangover all the time. Uh, you wouldn't really progress in your career because you'd probably be hungover all the time. You you wouldn't, you know, want to be, you know, you wouldn't stand out because of your performance at work if you're high all the time. So it would stunt your growth technically, especially if you have a job, yeah. And if you're in school, it would be very detrimental to your education too if you're permanently, this is um, classes. So those are the three, three main reasons I actually put alcohol as the top Um stunt you know growth stunter yeah uh it basically as i've said it's detrimental to your health you won't perform well at your place of work so you won't grow at your workplace um or if you're studying it might just stunt your growth at at college or whatever because you'll be missing classes because of hangovers uh secondly um it will dent your pocket because alcohol is really expensive and thirdly, yeah, of course, it's not an investment because you drink it and you pee it out. So, and thirdly, as I said, it is also, uh, it, it inhibits our judgment. So you wouldn't probably make good decisions once you've drunk here. Yeah. So we are on to the next thing that oh, actually is so, so bad, a bad, bad hobby, the bad, bad hobby. Okay, so the next thing that actually stunts people's growth or actually makes them poorer or the next hobby is actually somehow of an obvious one, yeah, but I guess a lot of people take it for granted, especially it's new to African countries, you know, it's not always been there, I guess it's been there in developed countries, but it's actually sort of new, yeah, eh, not so new, but new-ish, yeah, so that is betting, Betting. Betting is a hobby that is going to make you lose money for nothing. Betting is going to stunt your growth. If you can avoid it, don't do it. Maybe occasionally, but it's addictive. So once you start, you might not stop. So betting. And I remember in Kenya and Kenyans were all over the place complaining and all that. You guys were being protected, but you were not seeing that. But I guess you can't protect everyone from everything because um, this... Uh, legal things and these are things that you know the world has accepted are good but the fact remains if you consider betting a hobby or it's one of the your favorite pastimes that you constantly do ah uh, it's gonna stunt your growth sorry to say but it's not something that I, I don't like pinpointing what people are doing wrong let me just say it's an activity that um yeah will stunt your growth if you indulge in it in excess and turn it into a hobby don't turn betting into a hobby whether it's a sport sports it starts as five shillings and next you're betting a thousand shillings next you're betting a hundred thousand okay that's how betting works it's addictive and the more you get addicted to it the more likely you are to um what is it called bet more money or even stuff people have even betted their houses in the developed countries and all that so don't don't turn it into a hobby don't turn betting into a hobby because it is going to not help your life at all i know some some things i mean some things are painful truths but they are actually truths um yeah i didn't really want to do this video i would have easily done it as a tiktok i would have just pointed like three things that would probably blah 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 twing 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 but i decided maybe it might help somebody out there if i actually just sit down and told them the truth yeah, so if you want to grow, probably you've clicked on this video because you want to grow. So if you want to grow, avoid alcohol, avoid betting. So And funny enough, 
those two almost always go hand in hand. So just avoid betting. Yeah, but um, there's so many betting companies nowadays. I'm just like, yeah, but I did try to bet on Sport Pesa. Yes, yeah, Sport Pesa took my money and I just felt it wasn't worth it. <laughs> yeah, because I love money that much. But anyway, oh, the next bad and the final oh. most um, worst hobby that you can ever indulge in. And this one, unfortunately, touches on men. I know almost all of them touch on men, but I have seen women who are also alcoholic. I've seen women who are addicted to betting. So it touches on everybody, basically. Womanizing. Now, because of our society construct, uh, constructs, yes, how our society is, is basically, you know, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it in simple English, but uh, because of society constructs, um, women uh men are viewed as providers right um so women tend to go for men for financial freedom uh and unfortunately that's not good for the man yeah i know some people i I know some people have already seen it and some men are just addicted to women i don't know but if you know you're a man and you're watching this video just know that womanizing is not only good for you bad for your pocket uh bad for your health it's bad for your pocket i'm not trying to say that i advocate for monogamy like no that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying womanizing literally having women as a hobby keyword here is as a hobby as a pastime there are people who keep women as a pastime as a hobby you know um it's bad for your pocket because you are going to spend all your money women are expensive to maintain especially uh, most womanizers uh, love looking at beautiful women they they just wouldn't you know go out with someone ugly because they have uh, there's no such thing as ugly you know what society considers ugly they wouldn't uh, just go around with them so they have they they do look for women who are high maintenance if you know what i mean the ones who have their long nails the ones who have their long hair fake hair the ones who put on makeup and all that and they womanize with those women and the next thing you know you're the one paying for the salon you're the one paying for the nails you're the one paying for the wig you're the one paying for her food and even rent and you're doing that to multiple women okay so of course there are some people who don't give a shit about losing their money on women or on betting on or, or on alcohol but this video is just for the people who are seeking financial freedom maybe they they need to reassess their life and see where they can cut off certain things. Uh, women are expensive. So if you know you're a womanizer and you're asking yourself where your money goes, it goes there. It goes on the women. I'm sorry. And if that doesn't only go for women, because I realized that society has kind of changed nowadays. We have sugar mamas. We have sugar mamas. Sugar mama, if you know that you... um want financial freedom you haven't reached where you are yet although funny enough with women i always tend to feel that women will always pick on men who are younger than them after they've achieved financial freedom tell me in the comment section if i'm wrong but what from what i've observed a lot of sugar mummies um are kind of the same as sugar daddies which is sort of different from womanizers if you know what i mean like sugar daddies and sugar mummies have achieved financial freedom and just want a boy toy or a girl toy but womanizers are just people who are maybe like in their 30s their 40s and just feel like they want to run around with women <laughs> and men and haven't yet achieved financial freedom uh yeah so if you know you're also a sugar mama and you haven't achieved financial freedom and you are wondering where your money is going it's going to that boy toy that motorbike you bought him wasn't cheap it wasn't cheap it was money that um what is it called that um maybe farm that you invested in him so that he can feel happy wasn't cheap right so if you feel that you want to achieve maximum financial freedom and you feel that you're doing any of these hobbies you have 10 girlfriends you have 10 boyfriends you're drinking you're betting now those are going to stunt your growth but anyway you know i also love joking so this is just to be taken with a grain of salt as usual it's not like i'm a financial advisor <laughs> but you can just call me your personal financial advisor yeah so if you did like this content, this video, or anything of the sort, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I also show you how you can achieve this makeup. 
how you can where you can buy this jewelry where you can buy this wig and all that so thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you in my next video be a good man be a good woman and hit the subscribe button for all the knowledge i have given you <laughs> yeah but anyway if you honestly feel like supporting me just hit the subscribe button it's completely free it's not a subscription service where you pay any money completely free free you just hit subscribe it turns into subscribed and you're subscribed yeah and also don't forget to hit the bell notification i'll see you in my next video Take care, honey.